Today I'm setting up a beehive in my geothermal greenhouse and I thought now would be a good opportunity to give you guys a little bit of history and background on beehives. Today's video is sponsored by Vivor. Tough equipment and tools pay less. The first human beekeepers weren't keepers at all, but foragers of wild honey. In the Cave of the Spider near Valencia, Spain, is a cave painting dating from 9000 BCE clearly depicting a brave man climbing a tree to stick his hand directly into a beehive. The prehistoric artist even sketched a few honeybees buzzing nearby. Domesticated beekeeping was a common practice throughout the ancient world starting at least as early as 2500 BCE in Egypt and likely even earlier in China. Depictions of beehives and honey pots and beekeepers using smoke to calm bees were found on the walls of the Sun Temple of the Egyptian pharaoh Nusiri Ini, and intact clay and straw hives from 900 BCE were discovered in archaeological sites in Israel. Aristotle wrote about beekeeping and bee behavior in his book Historia Animalium, and the Chinese statesman and philosopher Fan Li explained the benefits of a wooden hive box in his treatise, Golden Rules of Business Success, circa 500 BCE, the first domesticated beehives were fashioned from hollowed out stumps of trees and fallen logs, which were natural destinations for swarming honeybee colonies. To harvest the honey, the hive would be cleared of bees and destroyed, the comb squeezed to extract the golden goodness. Around 2,000 years ago, beekeepers began using the first artificial beehives called skeps. Skeps look like overturned pots that were made from either baked clay or woven straw. A small hole near the bottom of the skep allowed bees to come and go, and the comb was laid upside down. Even though skeps are rarely used today outside of the developing world, the enduring image of the beehive and of hard-working industry is still a woven straw skep. The use of a skep, unfortunately, still required the destruction of the hive and often the death of the entire colony to harvest the honey, so beekeepers began looking for alternative hive designs. Wooden hive boxes became more common by the 18th century, leading to Franco Huber's movable hive or leaf hive, a vertical stack of movable book-like leaves, each holding its own section of comb. Those containing honey and not brood would be removed without disrupting the colony. But Huber's hive design never really caught on. Moving into the 19th century, Thomas Wildman began experimenting with bar hives, wooden boxes that are equipped with a row of bars across the top under which the bees build their comb in small hanging sections. Each section could conceivably be removed by lifting up on the bar, but not without some effort. The sections of comb would often get stuck together or to the side of the box requiring a messy cutting job that destroyed comb and sacrificed honey. Lorenzo Langstroth invented the modern beehive in 1851, enabling a greater production of honey. The domesticated honeybees honey is not just food and sweetener, but also useful as a topical antibiotic. The honeybees themselves are helpful at pollinating farmers' crops. Langstroth was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and graduated from Yale College in 1831. As a hobby, he experimented with beekeeping and hives. Prior to Langstroth's work, beekeepers could not monitor the health, production, or contaminant of bees while harvesting honey. His recognition of bee space, the idea that bees will not obstruct passages approximately their size, about one fourth inch led him to invent the Langstroth hive, which contained frames carefully spaced in a box that could be removed and inspected. The hive also allowed the beekeeper to gather honey, attend to the bees, and prevent them from fleeing. Langstroth's hive revolutionized the art of beekeeping. His design made it easy to inspect hives for disease, monitor the health of colonies, and harvest honey. His hive boosted overall honey production by allowing the bees to fill old combs with new honey. 75% of beehives in use today are based on his design.
The components of a modern day beehive consist of a telescoping cover, an inner cover, a shallow super, a medium depth super, a queen excluder, a standard brood box, a screen bottom, and a hive stand, or of course, any mixture thereof. If you'd like to save 5% on your own beehive, check out the links below. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe so you don't miss the updates. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.